Okay, so if the engine weighs 800 pounds, determine the internal normal force, shear force, and moment at points at points F and at points H. Okay, let's start by analyzing this arm DB. Something like that. Okay, and we've got... Eight hundred pounds here, and we're thinking about this arm as a rigid body. So we're assuming that, like, we're not going to look at it like it's doing something like this. The arm, it stays straight. Okay, so we have a pin connection at point B. Oh, and then also they don't give us a coordinate system, but this is the directions we're going to work with. So point B, you've got. Let's just assume positive direction, that these forces are in the positive direction. Okay, and then at point F, yes, this is a pin connection, but the force is going to be... Yes. And then this is here, this is 30 degrees. And why is that? Because this is a two-force member. This cylinder here is a two-force member. There's one force at each end, and that's it. So, so like, if you had, if it, if, let's say we know it's a two-force member, and one force is like this, and the other force is like this, well, it's going to spin. So if you have a two-force member, you know that the, those two forces must be going through the, uh, this, the centroid of that object. So we know the direction of this force. Okay? So now let's sum the moments and forces on this arm DB. So sum of the forces in the X. It's not moving in the X direction, so those forces are zero. It's not accelerating. So... FCA or minus FCA cosine of 60 plus BX is equal to zero. Okay, so let's make sure that we're in degree mode. Okay, so Cosine 60, one half. So minus one half plus FCA plus BX is equal to zero. FCA is equal to two BX. All right. So now, some of the forces in the y direction are equal to zero. So minus 800 plus FCA sine of 60 plus BY is equal to zero. So minus 800. Plus root 3 over 2. FCA plus BY is equal to 0. So root 3 over 2. FCA plus BY is equal to 800. All right, now sum of the moments. This is our positive direction. All right, it's a right-hand coordinate system. So put your right hand on X to Y. It points to Z. Okay, so let's sum the moments about B. 
just choose B so we don't we don't have to deal with these these two reactions here. But it kind of doesn't matter because we still have to deal with two reactions from FCA anyway. But so okay, 800 is in the positive direction. All right, and then this this horizontal distance is. So 2.5 plus 0.75, 3.25 plus 0.75 is 4. So 4 cosine 30. Okay, plus, so now FCA, this vertical FCA, is rotating it in the negative direction. So minus FCA sine of 60 times... What is this horizontal distance? So 0.75 plus 0.75 is 1.5. So 1.5 cosine 30. Okay. Plus, so now FCA, the horizontal FCA is rotating the positive direction. So FCA cosine of 60 times what 1.5 and then this vertical distance from f to b 1.5 sine of 30 1.5 sine of 30 is equal to zero okay so cosine 30 times 800 times 4, 1600 root 3. Minus, so we've got 1.5 times cosine of 30 times sine of 60. So nine eighths FCA. Okay. Plus. So cosine sixty times one point five times sine thirty. Three eighths. So plus three eighths FCA is equal to zero. So what do we have? Minus nine plus three is six. So six eighths. Six eighths, that's three fourths. So three fourths FCA is equal to. 1600 root 3. So FCA is equal to. So 1600 root 3 divided by. 6400 root 3 over 3. Pounds. Okay, we've got FCA, but FCA is equal to 2BX, right? So BX is equal to FCA divided by 2. 6400 divided by 2 is 3200, so 3200 root 3 over 3 pounds. And then this this came out positive, so the direction is right. Let's put our direction. This came out positive, so our direction is, is correct. Okay, and then BY is equal to 800 from, from this equation here is equal to 800 minus... root 3 over 2 
FCA, so 800 minus root 3 over 2, 6400, root 3 over 3. So these all cancel here. 60 is, so this is 3200, or no, it's 800 minus 3200 which is equal to minus 2400 so b y is equal to 2400 pounds but now we reverse our direction that we indicated in the in this free body diagram so down okay so now well wait what we could actually do is just to be clear, let's erase this. So we have FCA. So, th so this here, this here is DB. Right? What we could do is say, so here is, this is, member CA okay and so FCA th this is the correct direction so it's acting upwards on member DB so that means it must be acting um, it must be com it's compressing here and again two force members so we know what this is right FCA, FCA. So now let's analyze member this 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 member here B or well, BH because we don't have to analyze this entire member because we're not interested in anything down here. We can just pretty much do a cut right here. So so from B to H. So member B H. Okay. Right. So this is where you need to be careful. So we're going to put our forces at B. So B Y is acting down at B on the, on member D B. So it must be acting up here. Okay. And then B X is acting to the right so it must be acting to the left here and again our coordinate system all right now we've got FCA so again FCA is, is it's compressing the cylinder, so that means it's pushing out on uh, on this vertical arm here. So there's FCA, and it's at this is FCA, and we know it's the two force member. We know its direction, so this is sixty degrees. Okay, and then at H, we've got a normal force at H, a, and we're just assuming these directions right now, a shear force at H, and a moment at H. Okay, let's just sum our forces in moments, so... Some of the forces in the X equal to zero. So minus BX plus FCA cosine of 60 plus VH is equal to zero. So BX is... 
3,200 root 3 over 3. So minus 3,200 root 3 over 3. Okay, plus. So cosine of 60, we had calculated that before. That's 1 half. So 1 half times FCA is... 6,400 root 3 over 3. Plus VH is equal to 0. So this is going to be 3,200 root 3 over 3. So these two add to 0. So VH is equal to 0. And this is one of our answers here that we're looking for. So let's box that in. All right, so okay, you've got B Y minus F C A sine of sixty plus N H is equal to zero. So B Y is 2,400 pounds, so, and then again, FCA is this 6,400 root 3 over 3, times sine of 60, and what did we, we calculated this before, root 3 over 2, plus NH is equal to zero. So these root three times three is, root three is three, divided by three is the uh, cancels. So we've got what? We've got 2,400 minus 3,200 plus NH is equal to zero. So, NH is equal to 800. So, yeah, 800 pounds. And it's in, it's compressing the, 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 the member. Right? It's compressing it. Okay, so now we need to determine this MH. And we could just do it here, but they don't give you this distance. And they do that on purpose because they're trying to get you to think outside the box. Okay, so to figure this out, just remember you can make a free body diagram out of whatever you want. So let's make a free body diagram out of... This here. Right, because all of these pieces are connected. That's one unit. One rigid body unit. So, you've got that, this, okay, so now we've got, looking at this as a free body diagram, you've got 800 pounds, you've got this NH acting up. There is no VH, and we're assuming that direction for the moment. There's no FCA because we that, that's internal now. We haven't isolated FCA, right? Because like at point C, FCA is acting. Yes, it is. FCA is acting this direction, but so is there's equal and opposite coming from FDC, there as well so we don't it's, it's just like an internal force so all right let's sum the moments about h we know they have to be equal to zero because it's not rotating about h so 800 pounds is in the positive direction and 
what is this horizontal distance? 2.5 plus 0.75 plus 0.75 is 4. So 4 cosine 30. Okay, and plus the moment at H is equal to zero. So cosine of 30, root 3 over 2, times 4, times 800, Sixteen hundred root three M H is equal to minus sixteen hundred root three. All right, so write this kind of out officially is equal to sixteen hundred root three foot pounds. This is Two seven seven one point three foot pounds, and then the direction is so it's the it's negative, so it's opposite of what we assumed in that direction. Okay, so now we, we want to determine those internal forces at F. So we're going to make a cut at F, but then should we analyze in, in, in this direction, this part of this member D, DB or this part? Well, this is much less complicated, this little piece right here. So let's, let's just look at this little piece right here. So, okay. So at B, at B, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at on member DB. So BX is acting to the right. So. And BY and BY is acting down. Okay, now we're just going to assume directions for these internal forces. So there's N F and then V F. Okay, and then this is 30 degrees. And then this here you could figure out that so like this is like from geometry right so it's two parallel lines so like opposite interior angles are congruent so this is 30 degrees 30 degrees so this this is 90 this whole angle here so this has to be 60 there's a bunch of different ways you could figure out that angle so this is 60 degrees Okay, so let's sum our forces in moments. Sum of the forces in X is equal to zero. So in F cosine 30 minus VF cosine 60 plus BX is equal to zero. So cosine of 30 root 3 over 2 minus now cosine of 60 1 half okay, and then Vx is 3200 root 3 over 3. Okay. So now let's sum the forces 
in the Y. So minus NF sine of 30 minus VF sine of 60 minus VY is equal to zero. So sine of 30 one half okay sine of 60 root 3 over 2 and then minus by 2400 is equal to zero. Okay, so we need to solve these two equations simultaneously. So let's multiply this first equation by root three, and then we'll subtract the two equations. So multiplying this first equation by root three, you get three halves in F minus root three over two VF is equal to minus 3200, right? Because root 3 times root 3 is 3 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, now this equation, so minus 1 half NF minus root 3 over 2 VF is equal to and then 2400. Okay, now let's subtract these two equations. So 3 halves plus 1 half is 2. So 2 NF is equal to minus 3200 minus 2400. Minus 5600. So, NF, 5600 divided by 2, 2800. Okay, so, NF is equal to... 2,800 pounds, and then it's opposite of what we assumed, so in this direction. It's stretching, stretching it at F, stretching the member at F. Now let's just plug this NF into here. So, 3 halves times, now this was negative though, right, so this is our answer. But, we, we, this is what we evaluated it in a, a negative answer here. So minus 2,800 minus 3 over 2 VF minus 3,200. So 1,400 times 3 is... Well, just, let's just do... Yeah, 4,200, so minus root 3 over 2, VF, and then minus 3,200 plus 4,200, so minus 3,200 plus, let's see, 1,000. So, VF is equal to 
minus a thousand times two over root three minus two thousand root three over three so yeah so vf is equal to 2,000 root 3 over 3, which is what? Oh, that divided by 3. So one one five four point seven. Pounds, and again is the opposite of what we assumed, so in that direction. Okay, and finally we want to solve for I forgot to put we also have, let's put MF and, and assume that direction. So let's bring this to another page. Let's sum the moments about B since we can just use That'll be easier because we won't, we won't have to use NF and we can use VF without any, uh, like, changing angles or anything like that, any, you know, using any different components. So, the sum of the moments about B is equal to zero. So, minus MF and then plus VF times just the distance. See, it's easier this way. It's equal to zero. Well, it's about three quarters. Okay, so MF is equal to, so VF 2,000 root 3 over 3 is equal to 2,000 divided by 4 500 So, and that came out positive, so MF is equal to 500 root 3 is approximately equal to 866. Foot pounds and it's in the direction we assumed. All right, that's it.